What if I told you that your late nights and tireless efforts are only unlocking a fraction of your human potential? In this video, I'm going to show you how doing everything that you've been doing is only getting you 30% of the way there to your true capacity. The real culprit is not your decisions that you're making every day. It's not your workload. It's not restructuring the team. It's not thinking differently or figuring out a new strategy. The real culprit lies in your biochemistry and your physiology. In this video, we're gonna go over a case study of my client, we'll call him Steve, and how he had a record-breaking month in January of this year because he implemented the Neuro Athletics personal coaching protocol for just nine weeks. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Louisa Nicola. I'm a neurophysiologist and human performance coach, and I'm the founder of Neuro Athletics, where our mission is to democratize brain health education so you can perform better, think faster, and live longer. And I personally coach executives and elite athletes. Most of my clients who I have on board, and I would say 95% currently are non-athletes. They're executives. They're the ones earning over a million dollars a year. A lot of them are earning 10 to $30 million a year. Why do I reveal that? It's not because I'm trying to say that only people with a lot of money come to me. No, it's because at that place, the margin of error is very, very small. So people hire me through referrals, through word of mouth to get them just 1% better. It turns out that I get them many more percentages than that better. And we're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about Steve. That's not his real name, but I'm protecting his identity. He did agree to come on uh, and do a testimonial with me. So we'll reveal his uh, name in the testimonial. But Steve came to me around, I, I, I think it was mid-October, tired, frustrated. He's 48 years old. He's a corporate executive. He's been doing this since his 20s. He revealed to me that he didn't really feel like he could keep going on, not because of anything drastic at his work, more so because he's like, I'm, I, I wake up every hour of the night. So he, number one, he had sleep problems. The second one was he was feeling no motivation. He's like, I'm getting up every day. Because I just, I just don't feel it motivated because it's, it's really hard for me every single day to just push for that motivation. So we've got motivation and we'll put drive in there as well. He said his energy was at an all time low. He's been experiencing these effects for about two years. What has been the result of these effects? Well, he was experiencing a massive decline in his performance, in his portfolio. Massive decline, massive decline in his strategy and the way that he was communicating with his team. He has a wife. He also has two kids. He was experiencing some difficulties there as well in terms of communication, because when something doesn't go right at work, he doesn't feel good about himself. He doesn't see an increase in his bottom line. He actually sees a massive decrease in his bottom line we'll call that revenue or how much money he's bringing in, whatever that is, because this can apply to anybody. And so he just didn't feel like himself. He felt like giving up. So he wanted to take a new strategy because he, what he did was he reassessed everything, reassessed the goals, reassessed the team, reassessed the decisions he was making. It still didn't work. So that's when he turned to me. He's like, I just want you to figure out maybe, do we need to do anything with blood work? So I will let you know that if you do watch my, um, if you do watch my YouTube channel, you know that I speak to two people at Neuro Athletics. We have a six week training course for coaches where I teach them my exact framework of how I work with these executives. That's called the Neuro Athletics Coaching Certificate. I also have my own, I have around 25 private clients. Like I mentioned to you, 95% of those are non-athletes and they are executives. So this specific video is aimed at the executive. The one, this is, should be, if you're watching this, female or male, does not matter. And you are at a very high position in your career. 
and you are at the point where things have come to a standstill. Things are just not working anymore. You're seeing a decline in all of the metrics that I mentioned earlier, a decline in your performance. You don't know what it is. That's when you need to turn to biochemistry and physiology because I have to tell you, it's quite sad. Some people just see themselves as pathetic, like they're just, they're losing it at age 48, which is so young at that age. They're just losing it. Their cognitive functions are off. Decision making's off. Processing speed is off. They're feeling lethargic. And it's, you know, they often blame it on maybe I just didn't sleep well. That's why it's not happening. But there is a reason for everything because your body, human biology is very smart. If something's not going right in your physiology and your biochemistry, it will affect you. It'll affect everything from the way that you see things to the way that you perceive things to the way that you hear things to the way that you move and function. So let's look at some of the things that were revealed in Steve's blood work. So when you come on as a private client at NeuroAthletics, the first month is all revolved around extensive testing. Extensive testing. In terms of physiology, we look at VO2 max testing. We look, we, we really hone in on zone two cardio. We do blood lactate testing. Alongside that, we also do muscle performance, fast twitch, slow twitch muscle, um, muscle fiber testing. I don't personally do that. I have an exercise physiologist who does that. Um, so we do a number of different things in the physiology field. We do a sleep study. We also do extensive blood work. We do blood, urine, stool. We don't really do hair analysis, only if we really need to. But our blood analysis is extremely, extremely thorough. All up, we're getting thousands of different biomarkers from you. And we do that so we can look at all the different variables and figure out what is constraining you. If you're going to be operating at 100%, why are you not there yet? I don't, um, you know, we don't work with diseased patients, meaning that if you have a disease, you'll go to your your regular practitioner. We also work, like I said, with executives who are, they're quite fit and healthy in their aspect, but they want to perform at their true peak. They want to perform at their true human optimization level. Most people aren't. Most people are operating at around 40% of their peak potential. You can be working and operating at 100%. You just have to understand what is holding you back. And oftentimes you don't know what's holding you back. So there, are no, there were a number of different things holding Steve back, by the way. It wasn't just one thing. There were a number of different things. And I want to go through it first. I'm going to share some, some things with you. The first thing that came back was his testosterone levels. Remember, 48 years old. Testosterone came back as 190. Abysmal, right? And... I asked him, like, what, what do you think testosterone is? Because he said to me, Louise, I'm 48. I don't want to have any more kids. I was like, what? It's so funny because people look at testosterone as this uh, reproduction, libido, sex drive hormone. Fellas, I have to tell you, testosterone is way more than that. It's involved in focus. It's involved in drive. It's involved in determination. And more importantly... It's involved in pursuit of a goal. So without testosterone, I don't care about what you're trying to do in the bedroom. I care about your focus and your attention. You can skew the results of your bottom line or of your revenue or of your sales just by improving the quality of your testosterone. So, What did we do? Well, we sent him over. So I'm an advisor to a a company that looks at male hormone optimization. So we did all his, you know, all his hormone testing. And you might think, well, did you immediately start him on TRT? And I want to bring you to a really important factor here. 
because along with his vitamin D status, which was significantly low, guess what else was low? His vitamin D. So testosterone was low and vitamin D was low. And then you're probably thinking, but Louisa, vitamin D, what's that got to do with the health and performance of somebody's portfolio and revenue? Well, it turns out that vitamin D isn't just a vitamin, it is a hormone. It's not just the sunshine vitamin, it is a hormone. And it is directly linked to sleep and testosterone. So I'm going to show you this great study here that actually shows that the effect of vitamin D supplementation on testosterone levels in men. Turns out that if you just improve somebody's vitamin D. Now, by the way, his vitamin D came back as 26, screamingly low, screamingly deficient. There's a number of different reasons why. A, it could be fat mass to you know, excessive body fat. B, it could be endocrine disrupting chemicals such as microplastics, which is probably one of the biggest ones. Lack of... Um, of physical exercise, weight bearing activities like strength training can increase testosterone. But more importantly, the majority of testosterone released in males, around 95% is released during deep sleep. He was having terrible sleep. He was waking up every hour, terribly fragmented sleep. So of course he was not getting into deep sleep, probably not even getting into REM sleep, therefore not getting testosterone release. All the while, I'm looking at this thinking, wow, Steve, so what have you been doing to compensate for the energy? Oh, he was having two to three energy drinks per day. And then he was crashing hard. He was also drinking alcohol, which I don't agree with, um, which plummets deep sleep, which plummets red sleep. However, I will say he wasn't excessively drinking. He was drinking, I think, maybe two glasses of wine a week. But still, so... Let's look at this study, which actually shows that vitamin D supplementation might increase testosterone levels. So you can naturally increase a hormone, not by directly taking the hormone, but by looking at some of the precursors to that hormone. So vitamin D was low, so we started him on 5,000 IUs of vitamin D, which naturally increased his testosterone levels. He actually, um, because of the increase, he started to feel better, stronger. He was more motivated to go to the gym. He obviously had a, a program to adhere to, so he felt even better going to the gym every day. And not just that, his sleep significantly improved, which is amazing, right? When your sleep improves, when you're getting into deep sleep, a number of different things happen. You're getting the release naturally of testosterone, you're also getting the release of growth hormone, which in part is responsible for the regeneration of your muscles so and your entire body. So you're getting that happening during sleep. You're also getting the activation of the, of the glymphatic system, which only activates during deep sleep. And this is through brainwave activity and the shrinking of these glial cells. But once that happens, what happens is the cerebral spinal fluid washes through the brain like a washing machine and it clears out all of the toxins and debris. So he was waking up with less brain fog. He was feeling clearer. Keep in mind, vitamin D and testosterone took a while to come into effect. So we're talking um, mid-October. I think he came to me like start of October, then mid-October he started his protocols till mid-November, mid-December, end of December. So he was on these protocols for around three months. And then that's when he had his record-breaking month in January. He made the most amount of money that he has ever made in his career in the month of January this month. You may, you know, it may have been a fluke, but he rung me personally and said, it's because of you. I've never felt better. I feel like who I was in my 30s. I feel more energized. I feel more, I've got more endurance. I'm working out more. I'm more motivated. I think clearer. But the best thing is he's sleeping at night. And all of these, and by the way, we've got a long way to go. Most of my clients are with me for a year. He's got a long way to go. But let me tell you, just a minor adjustment in these little 
uh, just these these small amounts of biomarkers has made an incredible difference in how he shows up at work and how he shows up at home. We also saw something else happened with the vitamin D. I actually want to, I'm going to show you this as well. This study here shows improvement of pain, sleep, and quality of life in chronic pain patients with vitamin D supplementation. He didn't have chronic pain, but this is another, this here is another study that shows that vitamin D helps with sleep quality. And the thing about this is we have vitamin D receptors on our hypothalamus in our brain. What does that mean? Well, the hypothalamus, hypo means low and it sits below the thalamus and the hypothalamus regulates sleep and wake cycles amongst other things. But isn't that amazing? So if you are chronically low in vitamin D, that could be one reason why you're having poor sleep. But we don't know that yet until you come and get tested. Um, okay, great. So what else did we find with Steve? So we found a number of other things. We found that his hemoglobin A1C was through the roof. That's an Australian term, by the way. I don't know if it's um, here in America. His hemoglobin A1C was sitting at 6.4%. So if you have a look here, here, I've got the reference ranges for hemoglobin A1C. He was sitting here in the pre-diabetes state, almost going into diabetes state. So your hemoglobin A1C is the measure of how many red blood cell proteins have been glycated by glucose over the past two to three months. So in your red blood cells, it's a measure of glucose within the red blood cell over the last two to three months. And that was pretty scary too. So what did we do with him? Because evidently we don't want him going into the diabetic range. We don't want him getting, uh, being, being a type two diabetic and diabetes. Actually, there is so much more to it, even pre-diabetes than just being a, on your way to a type two diabetic. It affects inflammation. It affects neural inflammation, the amount of inflammation you had, which probably explained his brain fog, which he was trying to get over by having Advil every day. So once we knew this, we got on track with monitoring this. And not just that, we got him to be measuring himself every day. So he does a uh, fasting glucose check now, almost every morning, maybe every second morning. And we're looking at getting a fasting glucose of below 100 to start with. Optimized results at Neuroathletics, we want you between 72 to 85. So why am I pointing this out and why am I doing a video on this? Well, because I have a lot of executives reaching out to me, a lot of portfolio managers, a lot of hedge fund managers, a lot of partners at law firms who are at the point of their life. A lot of people come to see me in their 40s. More often than not, I'm seeing guys around 42 to 60. You're at the point of your career and your life where you know that you're getting diminishing returns. And that happens. I know as soon as you hit 40, it's downhill. I haven't hit 40 yet, but I, from the literature, what I see is that as soon as you hit 40, it does, it is downhill from there. And we have to do a lot of deliberate work to slow the progression of these age-related diseases. But not just that, we have to be looking at our blood work because more often than not, the work that you're doing every single day is not getting you to where you need to get to because you're blaming other circumstances other than your biochemistry. So if you are an executive and you are thinking of maybe coming to us at Neuroathletics, I'm going to pop the link below. You can talk to one of my team members and we can go through the extensive protocol that we put you through. And it's also not just that. I would also consider it's not just one-on-one -on -one coaching with me and obviously my team, but you also are part of a mastermind with the rest of the men who do this as well. I separate the men and the women, but um, I hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, put a comment below 
even if you want a question, if you have a question for me, put in the comment section below and please subscribe. If you haven't done that yet, please go through and do it.